Hello, the game has started and opponents opened with Dort. Pretty poor rack I have here. Um, what about duty? No, didn't think that was good. Um, diode. Pretty poor still. Might have, uh, it's almost as bad as the opening rack. At least I have a little bit of scoring potential with the V and the Y. But this rack is um, pretty ropey. Opponents exchanged. I'm thinking I might do the same. Yeah, I'm exchanging. This is, no matter what I play, my rack leave afterwards is going to be pretty poor. I'll keep an E. I draw the J and um, a better rack this one, but not a bingo E rack. Okay, opponent scores 98 with the Z and the blank and the S. Nice play. Um, so I'm definitely on the back foot here. What about G? 26. Yeah, I'll go with that. Or G's, maybe. I don't see a four-timer through the Z. Forty. Acuities through an eye that works through that eye. Uh, sauciest from the S across to O15. No four timers available. So I will be bingoing. And sauciest probably the go. Uh, looking at bingos from the D as well. Okay, sauciest isn't blocked. And I've drawn fairly well with the K and the blank. Um... There has to be a bingo here. Why am I not seeing it? Opponent plays get ups for twenty six. I have the over prefix. And I also have the IER ending through this I. That doesn't seem to help. I have the like suffix, but that doesn't help with R A N. R O A N. What am I missing? Now I'm thinking of over words again. Oh wait, I've got over here, so over rank to over rank. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Overrank is fine. Um, that is a pretty hot spot, but the Z and the J have gone. Still represents a very high score. If the opponent can... Uh, yeah, okay, he plays a foot. Now, I almost have Darain, but I need the O to be an A. That's not going to happen. So, what... What do I have here? I have the aero prefix. I can't see a seven with this rack. Very close to a bingo, but what am I missing? A rointer, uh, no. Um, a kin is twenty seven. Ochre, no, we can't spell it like that. Wow, so close. Does the D definitely not make a bingo? Not seeing it. I'm going with a kin. Okay, not uh, not great. Inlander. Okay, I've got grow here to sort the rack out. Um, cool. This is looking nice. Sorceries, no. Um, what have I got here? Cossia, I don't think is a word. Discoers, yeah, that'll work. Um, Discoers, hopefully that's not blocked. Now, what else? There is an IE. R ending. I don't think Cossia is good. Crozier. Crozies. Uh, um, now there is an R to play on to as well as an E if Discoers is blocked. Um, I have the ISO prefix. opponent hasn't used up much of his time. Pretty fast player, Stuart. Disco has remains available. Does the V offer any higher scoring play? No, not seeing it. Oh, wait a minute. What about the O? Four timer through the O. ISO score no. Crozier's uh, source. What about a word ending in IS? Like some medical condition, psoriasis or something. Um, Seros, Seros. Now, I think I'm going to go with Discoers. And I've drawn only one vowel. That's not ideal. 
opponent scores a whopping 88 for relax and draws level. So L takes a B as well as an F. I can't seem to get any action here, I don't think. What about... Oh, I'm just limited with what I can do with this rack, unfortunately. Um, I have GIF here. What about an ICH ending word? No. The Q still unplayed, so Q I play there. Um, maybe just GIF. GIF scores well and preserves my one and only vowel. Well, what about a B Y? Can I extend BY? That's 28 points, and it takes out a, a pretty hot spot. And then I still have my IF. Preserve the F for next time. Can I get rid of another consonant? Not that I can see. I'm going with by for 28. I don't draw another vowel. That's a problem. Opponent's got some pretty balanced tiles there. 7 and 8 for consonants and vowels. Yeah, he scores well there. Um, fell and Wow, what to do now? I've got if here. Well, I could just play gif. Uh, this isn't bad. Preserves my I in case I draw the Q. Yeah, I'm going with this. The other option would be... Fig here. That's a 31 point play, but it does burn the eye. I think I'm um, going to preserve my eye just in case. Because if I draw the cue, an opponent takes this eye out. Um, it's tricky. I don't know. I think GIF for 28 is probably either this or... <sighs> There's six vowels to come. I'm bound to draw a vowel. I'm going for score. Oh, goo. Obviously goo isn't good. Dew is what I meant. 33. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? It was fig. Totally mixed up. Sorry, guys. 31. Ouch. Uh, that was not part of the plan, picking up the cue, and that could be my undoing. Yeah, maybe I should. Well, I can still play chin here or chin here, but opponent. I'd say definitely the um, favorite to win. Whew. Automata, he almost has. Automata. Automate. What about the R? 
uh, not seeing anything. Anyway, the Q, the chin play here, obviously, 23. Uh, the chin play here, only 18. Opponent can't block both. But if he can orchestrate an out in two, he wins the game essentially because I'll have too much left on my rack to to win. He'll win on count back and he's probably working that out now. Now what about a H? Oh. Ooh, that's a big score. That is a big score that opponent got there. 28. I'm going with Chin. Twenty-three. Now, Heil is good. H Y L E. I don't know if opponent can go out with the R. Maybe he can. Rotate. Um, Heil. Yeah, Heil's here. Is a thirty-point play. Don't know if it takes the S. Um, yeah, he has a decent enough score as well. That's 30. I don't know if there's a way of going out with this rack. I'm looking at the E and the O. Hedy, no. Um... Looking at a HY. Oh, actually, Heil here scores quite nicely. That's 30. Uh, opponent. Don't know where opponent's likely to play. Melly. Don't know about Melly, no. So Heil underneath Disco is yeah there. Uh, Heil's here. I don't know about hide. Oh, okay. Opponent's got out act and just looking at this T. Yeah, I think yeah should be enough to win, but just looking at some other options. What about Hiles here? 30. Yeah, that should be the go. And then opponent's got an E to go out with. And uh, he wins. So, uh, yeah, just um, didn't think about that as an option. I know the G's takes the E hook, but well done to opponent for orchestrating the win. Let's see what we missed. Just three points in it there. Maybe there was another outcome. So Dort for 16. Um, uh, he says G's Lee for the win, but very hard to spot. Okay. Dort for 16. Um, Woody. Okay, that's not bad. Woody, i.e. Gives back a lot, though. So I went with Diode. And then uh, nascency for 82. Wow, that's tricky to spot. Very tricky, uh, especially with the blank on the rack and being able to visualize the 
eight letter bingo through the A. Um, lovely word though, nascency. And opponent exchanges as do I. Trizones comes down for 98. And then G's for 40 was best. Uh, Vig for 20. Vibest. Opponent went with Vibe. Then Suitcase or Sauciest. Ah, Suitcase got the C doubled. So I rushed that a little bit. And look at that. Six points extra. Well, who knows how the game would have uh, progressed from that point, but I um, lost by less than six points. So interesting how looking for the optimal play can be very decisive when it comes to the outcome of the game. Um, Get-ups comes down for 26. Karengo, 98. I'm only... It's only vaguely familiar to me, but that's 04. Ah, Karengo getting the K doubled, G-O, and a massive 98-point play. That would have given me a nice lead, but overrank, overbank, reawoken. Yeah, so Karengo the play. Uh, that gave a opponent a 33-point play, but... Oh, he had Fu in the bottom left for 43, which would have been a nice uh, score and rack leave. Um, instead goes for a foot. Ah, oh, ordainer. Everyday word. Ah, oh, that is embarrassing. Um, I think I even mentioned oh, I mentioned anointer but I meant yeah ordainer and reordain um, I should have spotted those that was a shame so a bad miss there went with a kin and now opponents got inlander through the N and it just fitted. So, grower. Now, again, why did I rush the move? I could have scored an extra 14 points, and I just looked at the rack leaf of OER, and I thought that's okay, but I didn't think to extend. So, that was a mistake. And uh, Vril for 24 for opponent, Velon for 19. Disco has comes down, Corsives, there was a bingo through the V and it was an extra four points. So that was a miss as well, although not quite as bad as Ordainer. Um, relax for 88, massive score. And now opponent's drawn level. Now I've got this rack. Quite challenging. Frib for 32. Um, where was Frib? Through the R. At 12A. Ah, that's quite nice. Gets rid of two clunky consonants. And oh, it doesn't preserve the, the I. But it's a good score. I did think about. BY here because I saw there was a Y unseen and this is potentially a 50 point play and there's I'd say there are quite a few uh, patterns of four letter words that would fit the bill for um, playing a, a word ending in Y for oxy so I just thought that danger needs to be mitigated and I still stand by that um, now, mum for 33, opponent goes with pull for 31, highing, that's, that's huge, for 44. Now, where was that? 10F, oh, look at that, H-Y-I-N-G, huge, perfect way to um, preserve the one and only vowel on the rack, that 
is a stellar play that would have even taking into account the misses and suboptimal plays prior to this stage of the game this would have put me in the driving seat again um, that was a miss and it's a word I know so that's a shame I went with Fig for 31 and now opponent has Mormat for 32 um, and a few other good scoring players in the 30s goes with Mame for 28 Jeezley for 56 yes that's not a word that I'm familiar with opponent mentioned it there at the end of the game but uh, Jeezley that's again probably a, a game winning move um, well definitely a game win winning move um, since there were two places to play the R, the Q afterwards, and out act for twenty seven, giving opponent G's afterwards. Now, I don't think there was another Hiles for thirty. Yeah, I mean. Kudos to opponent to uh, to work out the two the two play out, getting enough to win. But I don't think at this stage I could have won. No play th unless I played through the O and then chin afterwards. But it it no it wouldn't have affected it because the E was tucked away. So. Out act and then Jeezley again for 56. So two chances to save the game, but I didn't know the word. And G's for 25, and so opponent um, literally wins by three points. So, um, yeah, I felt there were a few suboptimal plays in the kind of middle part of the game. And, um, yeah, it was it was quite an interesting game because it came down to the last two racks. But, uh, yeah, it just shows you that if you rush moves during the game, you can often um, land up losing by a few points just by virtue of the fact that you've played a, f a suboptimal play worth a few points less than the highest one. And uh, But an exciting finish. Hope you enjoyed watching that game. And I will see you next time.